XML uh, to another XML using XSLT and Java. Uh, here, let's uh, let's convert it uh, to uh, instead of uh, XML, let's convert it into HTML. And so the same. So the, here we're going to take the output of the of what we just generated, right? We just generated a list of students by right? having a so we extracted from an XML, we convert it into a flatter XML. Now let's convert that one XML. Now we'll convert it into HTML. Right, so the students document that we just generated. Let's take that as input to the next transformation. Uh, we're going to convert it into something that generates HTML. We're going to take the root of the students, right? We're going to and, and, and we're going to generate a an H1 uh, students and then a table that is going to take the first name, last name, username, and ID as the head of the table. Uh, and then for the body, we're going to just apply the template. Uh, to that will pattern match all the students under the students. Yes? And for each one of them, we're going to generate a, a TR and whose values are going to be the, the attribute ID, username, first name, and last name. Uh, so let's do that. Let's, uh, let's uh, uh, take the same code that we had earlier. Let's just copy it. Right? So this transformer. So let's, um, so let's actually rename this. Uh, the name for this was um so this was um extract students from courses with xslt right uh and i'm just going to copy this i'm going to i'm going to say um uh, transform uh student students xml to html Okay, which is exa exactly the same uh, same code, right? The only thing that's going to be different uh, is the input um, is the input files, right? So the the transformation file is going to be uh, we're going to call it. Let's see, what what do we call it here? Students X, uh, students XML to HTML. So it's going to give it that name. Let's see, um, and the input is going to be students. So the input file is going to be students.xml, and the output is going to be students.html. Okay. Uh, so everything else stays the same, right? Actually, we could have just you know generalized the the code from earlier right? and just used it, you know, and just take as arguments these three these three strings as strings, right? Um, okay. So let's uh, let's let's run this. Well, we have students. We don't have the XSL. Let's generate the X. Let's create the XSL file. There it is. Let's copy that and let's create a brand new XSL file here. So a new XSL and let's name it that XSL. There it is. Uh, and as uh, as content, let's just copy the content in here and the content down here. And I think that's it, right? Uh, once we have that, we can now run our little example, transform XML to HTML. And let's run it from here. Let's see if it blows up. Okay, it did, didn't seem to give me any exceptions, so let's, uh, let's refresh this. There it is. Uh, students HTML generates this ugly HTML. All right, there it is. So, so they have the H1 with the tables and the body, right, and all the TRs there for each one of the students. Right, which we could uh, presumably open up and view uh, and open with a web browser. Maybe, yeah, there it is. So it's a web browser, and it can be consumed by some human beings. Okay. All right. All right. So there you have it. Right. So we 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 uh, we, we we introduce uh, XML, XSLT, XPath. Right. Being able to transform this from Java. Converting XML to, uh, to Java objects, Java objects to, to XML, and just in general being able to uh, manipulate and, and work with uh, yet another uh, way to represent uh, data models, represent hierarchical data models, right, with uh, uh, strongly typed uh, schemas uh, that, uh, that, that have more or less the same uh, issues of redundancy and, and, um, and, and uh, uh, challenges for. Um, uh, for normalizing, right, and denormalizing data uh, into various representations of the same data. Okay. 
Uh, and we saw this how this fits into the uh, higher into the uh, overall architecture uh, of sharing data across multiple uh, systems and, and um, uh, through uh, use use of web services and uh, and HTTP uh, network connections. Right. We'll see web services in in full uh, a little later, uh, about a couple of weeks after after we come back from uh, from Thanksgiving or before Thanksgiving. I don't remember. Uh, we'll look at web servers, how to create web services, and expose all this data so some so folks can use it uh, for integrating for with our uh, with data that we have stored in our databases. Okay. All right. Thank you.